Hey there and welcome. My name is Carlos Beres and let's start talking about what is going on in the indie tabletop RPG scene. And as always, I'm not being dressed as sponsored by anyone mentioned here unless explicitly said or mentioned otherwise. Some links, they may be affiliate links so that they can benefit me without to cost you anything extra and all the links there will be in the description together with some timestamps so you can jump to the point of your preference. And first, we bring to your attention Brave Extreme by Alexander Ship, a creator from RPG Latam, the Latin American tabletop RPG scene. It is now in each funding, uh, crowdfunding through each.io, and it is a standalone setting for Brave Zenith. It is inspired by extreme sports with animations like uh, Rocket Power and even the living person of Tony Hawk. You will have your rider, being it a skater, a surfer, a biker, and whatnot, and you have to go in duels uh, for some kind of showdowns, uh, in a way. And you have a demo version that is now available, you can download it, you can try it before co trying to contribute to the campaign as well. So this is also really a nice thing so that you can check it out, see if it really strikes your fancy, and then commit to buying it or contributing to the each funding. Another crowdfunding campaign that started this week is the one for Pine Shallows by Jimmy Shelter, and it is also an itch funding. It is a game in which you play as kids, solving mysteries and going on adventures, akin to Gravity Falls, uh, Goonies, and the like of that. It uses a uh, 2 d 6 mechanics, an uh, easy way to try and build a system, and the crowdfunding campaign is for paying for additional art and editing. But if you buy the game now, it is already complete and featuring even a starting adventure so that you can get into the, the game. It is, it is catch of the day and it is to introduces the system and also the setting. And released this week is Stretch Out and Wait by Armanda Hammer, another creator from RPG Latam and the game is a lyric game about trying to sleep. So the game is literally going to try and put you to sleep. It is basically a breathing exercise with a creative experience and you do not need anything else to play apart from the game and some time. It seems nice. Another release for this week is The Sword Fantasy Adventure in Mountain Cities by Thomas Novosel. It is a rules light free Kriegspiel Revolution style game or FKR game. You play in a world of mountain cities where people flew to them trying to escape from the old civilizations that inhabit the forest. And by World Champs Games Co, we have the release this week of To Scratch It Out for Everything, where it's literally scratched out the, the word there. It is a storytelling for two to three players, where the players are actors, directors, writers, and the audience of their own stories. It was developed to accompany the tour of La Dispute, a post-hardcore band, and this idea in and on itself is already a very interesting take, so you can check it out, uh, it, it's looking visually marvelously, so see if it strikes your fancy and perhaps buy the game. On gems, we have the Brave Gem, which are for you to create content for Brave Zenith, a game by Giuliano Hoverato another creator from RPG Latam. We mentioned the game earlier in the episode as well, when we mentioned the Extreme Brave, uh, and the optional theme for the 2022 gem is Stroganov, or Stroganov, it depends on how you know the word, it is the Russian dish, okay? And three submissions will receive physical copies of Brave Zenith as rewards. You can have multiple submissions and even submit previous works also, Brave Zenith will be completely free for the month that the gem is running, so if you haven't checked it out uh, yet, you can just go there and download it and check it out, it's a great game. The gem runs up until October 14th, so you still have some plenty of time to try and create your title for Brave Zenith. We also have the Lesser Loved Dice Gem in which you are invited to submit tabletop RPGs that have their core mechanics focusing in either D4s, D8s, D12s, and D100s. If uh, you do not need to use all of them, or at least one of them as the core mechanics. You can use the other dice, but they are not to be into the main mechanics of the game. Okay, that's it. Also, for the ranking process, the game should be some kind of free during the ranking period, either being pay what you want, uh, tons of community copies, uh, whatever, how you prefer to do it. And you can change it later, it's only for this ranking period. You also 
have up until the end of November to submit the gem page and it gives you plenty of time to create your own system and it also provides some resources if you are unaware of how to create mechanics using these dice. So you have some examples there and even some SRDs that can be used that use these dice and then you can try and build from that. So this is a great way to try and create your own system if you haven't or if you are already experienced with that, it's a good gem to try and put your game out there. On articles and threads, I bring to you this article by Chase Carter about Zine Quest 4. As I mentioned previously, I decided to not cover the official Zine Quest 4 this year because it would be basically a Kickstarter thing. But if you are curious in how it was, you can check this article by Chase. Uh, this article is, is on Polygon and Chase presents some very interesting projects by independent creators from competitive to solo games with outer space or uh, drag race. So I sh should suggest to read uh, so that you can know more names of the indie scene and some new titles that perhaps pass it through your radar. Okay, for this week, I believe that's it. If you like the video, like the damn video, share, subscribe, you know how internet works. Let me know in the comments what you are liking about the series, what you dislike about it. I know that we got not that regular schedule right now, but the series is still out there. Uh, you can pay me a coffee on coffee. you can buy my games on each.io, and I see you all in my next video. So, see ya!